Okay, in today's video, we're going to go over one of the most interesting things about the kinetic energy, and only that one thing, which is that the kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of the speed of the object. Now, in a previous video, I went over an explanation, a more general explanation of kinetic energy, which you can link to right here. But for this video, we're just going to talk about the relationship between the kinetic energy and the square of the velocity. Now here we have our kinetic energy equation. Kinetic energy is one equal to one half the mass of the object times the velocity squared. Now it's directly proportional to the mass, which means that the mass goes up, the kinetic energy goes up, and the mass goes down, the kinetic energy goes down. But what we want to look at today is the fact that the kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of the speed. And what does that mean? For the kinetic energy. And we're going to calculate the kinetic energy of an object when it has four different speeds or four different velocities, 5, 10, 15, and 20. And we're going to use 5 meters per second as kind of our base for comparison. So that's kind of our one time. That's our base. That's our standard that we're going to use. And then we're going to calculate the kinetic energy of the same object when we double its velocity to 10, and then we triple its velocity to 15, and then we're going to go all the way and quadruple its velocity to 20 meters per second. Okay, now it's the same object, and I haven't really given you a mass so we can calculate the kinetic energy, but I just like to pick any nice simple mass, because I don't really care what the mass is. What I really care is how the square of the velocity affects the kinetic energy. And we're going to calculate the kinetic energy, I said four different times. And in the first case, I believe I just chose the mass to be 100 kilograms. You could choose one kilogram, two, five, 10, 100, 345.68. I like to just choose some kind of nice round, normal number. It makes my calculations easier. So when the object is going five meters per second, we're going to calculate its kinetic energy. It has a mass of 100 kilograms. We're going to square the velocity just the velocity. So it's 5 squared. 5 squared is 25 times 100 is 2,500 times 1 half is 1,250. So for our base, an object that has a mass of 100 kilograms and has a velocity of 5 meters per second, then it's going to have a kinetic energy of 1,250 joules. Now let's see. Now we're going to double the velocity. Let's think what is going to happen to the kinetic energy given that it's not just V, it's velocity squared and it's directly proportional to the square of the velocity. So let's calculate it. We have 10 meters per second for our velocity, 2 times 5. 10 squared is 100, times another 100 is 10,000, times a half is 5,000. So you can see we doubled the velocity to 10, but what happened to the kinetic energy, you'll notice 5,000 divided by 1250, or you'll notice it went up by a factor of 4. That's interesting because that means if you double your velocity, the car that you're driving in potentially, the brakes, the road, has to do four times as much work, which means it's going to take you four times as long, four times the distance to stop. That's why speeding is a bad thing, because every time you go up in velocity, the energy the car has and the stopping distance increases by the square of the velocity. So when you double your velocity, your kinetic energy goes up by a factor of four. Now, what about when we triple our velocity? So we have the same object, the same 100 kilogram object, 15 squared times 100 times 0.5 is simply 11,250. And you'll notice that that is nine times as much kinetic energy when you triple the velocity. Now you should notice now, you'll see it's two squared is four, three squared goes up by a factor of nine. Now we're going to quadruple the velocity and you'll notice that the kinetic energy goes up by a factor of 16, okay? So that is what we mean and that's the intention when we point out that the kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of the speed. If you double your speed, you don't double your kinetic energy. If you double your speed, you quadruple your kinetic energy. If you triple your speed three times as fast, your kinetic energy goes up by a factor of nine, which means that you have nine times as much energy, which you can do nine times as much work or nine times as much damage to yourself or somebody else when you're driving a car. So be careful. 
All right, so that's it for this video. Like I said, if you want to see a more general description of kinetic energy, you can click right here and I'll have that link to the kinetic energy and just a simple explanation overview video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up or a nice positive comment in the comment section below. It makes me very happy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.